Welcome to day two of uh, the Web TV Trailblazer Summit, and I am so happy to um, to uh, welcome Wanda Caraway, who has been a trooper, a trooper, even though we're a half hour late. She's been a total trooper to get through this technology by herself. <laughs> and I thought she was going to have some help, but she didn't because uh, I would have gone down to Houston and helped her. Anyway, Wanda's in uh, Houston, Texas, because even though we had technical difficulties, this is the beauty of technology that she can be in Houston and I can be here in Austin, Texas, and we can all be here with you wherever you are in the world. Anyway, Wanda Caraway is the producer of the Yellow Rose Talk Show and Dr. Detox TV and she has over 30 years experience interviewing greats such as Ross Perot, Tom Selleck, Larry King, Chuck Norris, John Bradshaw, Clint Black, Cliff Robertson and Mark Victor Hansen and that is just to name a few. And uh, Wanda's award-winning documentary films have been viewed all over the world and Wanda brings a distinctly unique style in interviewing that gently accents a southern graciousness and it's sure to uplift your soul and your spirit. Well, hello, Wanda. Well, hello, Rhonda. Thank you so much. You are such an angel. And learning this new 2013 uh, <laughs> Apple computer, you got to be almost a genius, but we figured it out. Yeah. And thank you so much, you know, no matter how many storms you go through, it's bringing that ship in. And I never forget, Rhonda, when I first started as a talk show host, I have to share my testimony with you. So it'll yes. give a lot of Please testify. <laughs> Give a lot of people hope out there. Uh, I was praying and I was asking God, Rhonda, I was saying, <clears throat> I kept dreaming about talk and I kept getting in my spirit about talk. And I'm going, what's that all about? And uh, on a Thursday night, I used to have prayer meetings at my house and I would invite everyone to come. And before I was ha had the prayer, uh, prayer meeting, I walked in a restaurant, and I don't know if you can see this, but it was a yellow rose, and I, I, I mean a yellow feather, and I asked God to give me a sign. I said, why am I getting this yellow, and I talk, it keeps coming to me. And so this yellow feather fell in my hand, and that was many moons ago, many years ago. And so I was having, I had a prayer meeting, and this lady came to the prayer meeting. She was from L.A. She had been in the earthquake. She had lost everything she had, and she said, would you please pray for me? She was a reporter and a talk show host, and she said, would you please pray for me? She said, I want to be a talk show host. She came to Houston because her family lived in Texas, and she said, I want to be a I want my talk show again. She said, would y'all pray for me? We prayed for her. And she was almost the last one that night, Rhonda, to leave. Next morning, she calls me up. Now, I remember I'm asking God, what's that feather mean? And what, what's all this that he keeps putting in my spirit? She called me back up the next day, Rhonda, and she says, Wanda, would you please meet me for lunch? She said, I had this dream. And in the dream... It said, Yellow Rose Wanda. She said, please have lunch with me. Have you ever thought about being a talk show host? I said, no, I'm a country girl from Tennessee, and I love people. She said, well, why don't you come over to my place tomorrow? God love her. She came to Texas, Rhonda, to show you with determination in life, you can have anything you want. You can do anything you want. So she said, please come to my place. I came to her house, and God love her, she had one little mat on the floor, one little bitty microphone, and a plastic chair, two plastic chairs, because she came to Texas with nothing. She'd lost everything in the earthquake. She said, Wanda, she said, 
why don't you uh, invite a guest and, and see if you'd like to be a talk show host? And, and I'm going, okay. <laughs> and so I invited Kim O'Neill, I'll never forget, how to talk to your angels. <laughs> And then I had another girlfriend come on, and the secret is, when you start anything, you got to have someone on you feel comfortable with, Rhonda. That's and true. So, and so I, um, I brought in another girlfriend, how to manifest into your life what you want to happen. Anyway, she says, oh, you're a natural. And she says, let's get started. And I'm going, oh, no. She's... We have this one little bedroom apartment. How, Lord, are we going to get started? <laughs> How are we going to get started? I mean, we got to have money. we got to have this to get her back on her feet. So I prayed and I asked God, Rhonda, for direction. I had a friend I had worked for, and I went to him and I said, I want to be a talk show host. Will you help me? <laughs> he said, have you ever been one before? I said, no. And he, I, he said, well... What do you need, young lady? And so, God be my witness, he set us up in a studio, bought all new equipment, Rhonda, <gasps> and put her in her own apartment. She had nothing. So, Rhonda, when God has a plan in your life, nothing can stop God's plan that he has for you. So, anyway, we're all set up in this fine studio, and all, everything, all new equipment and everything. And she was just amazed. She said, oh, my gosh, Wanda, how fast God answered our prayer. Well, anyway, she said, now, Wanda, make you a list. Said, uh, what we have to do is get, you got to get guests on your show. And I said, okay. I said, okay, I made my list. And uh, she said, I'll produce the show. And then we'll put you first on radio. Well, it was, and I said, okay. And then she said, once we get bigger, then you can go to TV. And I said, okay, okay. I made my list, and I had campaigned for Ross Perot. And I went in, I got on the phone because I made my list and I just started calling. So, so tell me one. So you just basically made a list of people you wanted to interview. Well, uh, you, that's the key. You got to start with people you feel comfortable with, which I did. I interviewed a couple of the girlfriends to see, you know, and, and it was so beautiful, the two of them. So anyway, I go into Kate, Rhonda, and I said, Kate, I... I went on the phone and I called Ross Perot and I said, Ross, I said, this is Yellow Rose. We already had my name, everything put together. And I said, I'd like for you to be on my talk show. And he said, sure, Yellow Rose, you did a good job campaigning for me. He said, sure, I'll be on your show. I go in to Kate and Kate almost had heart attack. She said, oh, Wanda, you did not invite Ross Perot. You've only had two interviews. <laughs> She literally had me scared to death. <laughs> I mean, she said, Wanda, you're not ready for Ross Perot. I went in the room, Wanda, and I started praying. I said, dear God, if you ever help me, help me now. I was an absolute nervous wreck. So help me. We came on the air. And you know how Ross is. You start out, and you never have to do anything else. <laughs> I, I said to Ross, I said, Ross, tell me. You have all, that's when he's running for president. And I, I said, Ross, tell me, you have all the money in the world. You can go fishing every day of your life. Why do you want to be president? And so he started out. We talked about POW. We talked about NAFTA. We talked about family values. And at the end, I said, Ross, do you think our country will ever get back to his forefathers? And he said, young lady, Unless our country gets back to its forefathers, this country's in a heck of a mess. And by the way, young lady, that was a good interview. Woo! Kate almost had heart failure. And then after that, he ended up being my first guest on the show, Rhonda. And it just gave me so much hope. You know, no matter what background you come from, uh, Rhonda, I have never had any formal training in broadcast. 
if you have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And so from there, I went on KJOJ. I went on the Christian radios. Uh, uh, Kate wanted me to go on there. I do have an important question, though. When you asked Ross Perot, since he had all the money in the world and he wanted to go fishing, why was he running for president? What was his answer? <laughs> his answer was he was so, we talked about what a turmoil that the country was in and he felt like that he could make a difference in it because he said if we don't get back to family values, this country's in a heck of a mess. So oh. I learned from that interview, Rhonda, and uh, from there, I guess the good Lord's with you. When You know, if there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. And so, it's, uh, what makes, uh, you asked me that, what makes a good talk host? It's nothing more than a conversation, you know? And when you start out, and what I learned is I would research the people that I would start to interview when I first started. I, I, um, a lot of authors, a lot of friends that I felt comfortable with, you know, to interview that had a message. The secret when you're on radio or TV, if you've got an interest enough message, then they'll keep listening to you every week. But Rhonda, I really got a break in the business, and I tell you what, I, I'll never forget this. Uh, Mark Victor Hansen invited me to LA to interview him. And so where he had all the authors all over the United States there. I mean a room full of authors. So we I had a suite set up there and I interviewed him and that's when President uh uh Bush was dropping out of the uh what do you call it? Parachute? <laughs> you know what he jumps out of. Anyway, so I interviewed uh, uh, Mark, and so Mark goes downstairs, and all these authors from all over the world, famous authors, you know, and they were there at, uh, you know, at the convention. He gets up in front of the room to show you how when you God has a plan, Rhonda, he that plan goes forth. He gets up in front of the room, he said, the Yellow Rose of Texas is here. If you want to get your book out, he said, you better get in line because she's going to be here for two days. Wow. <laughs> Every 30 minutes, I did an interview with, and I got a bookshelf over here in my office of books from people all over the world I've had on my show. Every 30 minutes, I did an interview, and I learned so much you know, from doing that, uh, Rhonda, from people from all walks of life that really have a message in their books. And so that was such a wonderful start that God gave me. I went six months with not having to do an interview from doing it in two days. So I went on KJOJ, I went on KILT, uh, KTEK, I was on three different networks. And then I ended up going on national television. So God is so good, Rhonda, and and uh, I cannot thank Him enough, you know, for where I am today. Because it was like a back. It was like God puts you into something. He go. He 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 helps you all the way. And I've met so many wonderful people all over the world that have a message. And I've had children on my show. I, I, I believe you have one up with this little Brandon. Yeah, I have. Uh, I had a, oh, oh, my word. I met, I met him at the kids' camp where they help children. Now. And but I saw the him. Course, no, this is the video I had up while we were having our te technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you know, I saw little Brandon playing there at the kids' camp where they help children. And uh, Deborah Duncan and I had did a talent show here in Houston. And so those, uh, I gave the winners, the winners of the talent show, I had them all on my show. But I saw him 
And I was just absolutely blown away how young he is and what he could do. And so I invited him to be on my show. I mean, doesn't he sound like Jerry Lee Lewis rock and roll and playing that accordion and singing? Oh, uh, this he might not be the same video, but that's okay. This was somebody who you interviewed earlier, and now he's grown. Oh, that was Curtis Braley, probably, yes. Yes, yes uh, Curtis, that's right. But anyway, uh, I had him on, and God is so good. From there, seeing him on my television show, he was picked up with one of the largest accordion people, the German, you know, the German fest where they have the German fest. His mother sent me the most beautiful letter and she says, Wanda, she said, I cannot thank you enough for my child being on your show. And the doors opened up for my child for being on your show. So, you know, Rhonda, that's what it's all about. When you help other people, God always takes care of you, you know. And yeah. just like you, look at the technology today. I mean, <laughs> we sit in our living room or in our office, and oh, we talk like this. That's I mean, why I, 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 I'm so happy to do this, because it's like the technology is there. Um, you know, it might take a few tweaks to get used to it, like, you know, we, we played around a bit, but uh, it's there, it's free, and, you know, you can share so much, so that's why I'm doing this summit. So we can, I can talk, to, I can share people like you with the rest of the world. <laughs> well, you're, Ron, awesome. you're a very smart, and I'm so grateful to have you as a friend and to to see how wonderful and how we can help people now throughout the world and give them hope. Because Rhonda, I'm a little country girl from Tennessee, never had any. I went to the university for a couple of years and took special courses in business, but never had any formal education in broadcast, TV, movie making. All that God has put me in today, Rhonda, I, I cannot thank him enough. Uh, I remember when I first got into from from television into the movie business. Um, I was helping a fundraiser. This man came to me and he had a uh, a uh, piece of paper in his hand and he says, "Wanda, it was a judge. It was some judges, and it was." Um, they, he said, I want to build a library in the Philippines. Will you help me? And he, he said, he offered, asked this little girl there in the Philippines for a piece of paper, and she held on to it like it was gold. And so that's how my first movie I did in 1987, how it came about was we were here raising money to build a library in the Philippines. And there's an attorney sitting next to me, and he says, I know you work with children. He said, I want you to uh, meet this young man. And I, I said, okay. And make a long story short, this young man had been, it's a true story happening here in Houston. And when I first went to see this young man right here in the city of Houston, he had, he had, uh, had severe problems was in, had gotten, uh, had put him in the middle hospital, and she, he says, Wanda, I want you to go meet this young man, and I said, okay, and when I went to the home, I live in River Oaks, not very far from me, and I went in the door, and this young man was in a cage. He, was, uh, uh, he had been sexually abused so much that they had, his mother loved him so much, they told him, bring him home and put him in the living room. He had a punching bag, a toilet, and just in one room of the living room, a very beautiful home. And I came in, and, and uh, Danny, and I said, he said, I know who you are, Wanda. He said, Mom, let me out. I won't hurt Wanda. And he says, I'm working out my karma. And I'm going, oh, my God, what's this all about? I was in shock, Rhonda. <laughs> and so I talked to his mother. She calls me back up the next day, and she says, Wanda, he's never taken anybody like you. Would you come back and see him? I went back the next day. I took him to the park. He acted, I mean, just 
even 17 years old, he was like a little kid. And I, I prayed the night before, and I said, Dear God, help me to help this child. Anyway, make a long story short, I was sitting on the bed, and we were talking to uh, his mother of how I could help him because she loved him so much. But make a long story, we're sitting there, and she, I said, My gosh, your story is like a movie. She gave me exclusive rights. I produced it, took it to Cannes, France, and great things happened from producing my first movie. They changed the laws in the state of Texas on sexual abuse. Wow. So God is so good. How is that? And God good, I tell you. I, he's used me so much, uh, Rhonda. Uh, through the years in the business. Oh, you sprung that on me. I didn't know that story. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, I filmed it. In fact, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, I too, uh, filmed it here in Houston, and a uh, great, great story ended up being good, and the child oh, got happy. Oh. The mother was happy. So that's how I got started in the movie what's, business. What's the movie star called? Called Caged. What? <laughs> it was called Caged. And uh, A G E D. And you and you just uh, it's it's uh, amazing when you have a plan. And I could tell you story after story of all the good things that have happened. Uh, from there, I've produced many, uh, have produced many documentaries, many film, and in fact, I'm working on three right now. But it's not how many, no matter, Rhonda, what background you come from, no matter what path you go through in life, all you have to have is the will to do something like you. You were determined, what, no matter what. We were going through with the techno a while ago. We both were determined we were not going to let it get us down. And so that is what my motto has been all my life. Never give up. No matter what you're going through, no matter what storm you're going through, God will always be there for you. And he'll always help you uh, in your challenges. Uh, back to the talk show. Uh, you were mentioned to me, how did I go for so many years? Well, God just kept opening the doors for me. I got a phone call, and uh, in the, uh, they called me uh, from New York, and they said, we, you have been referred to us, the Yellow Rose, and we're doing a fundraiser for the lady, Cece Ryder. Remember that she had cancer, and they were going to cut her leg off. And so we were doing a fundraiser there in New York, and I was invited there in New York. Now here I, I Mark, Mark Victor Hansen opens up all these doors with all these authors and everything for me. But then I go to New York, and I and it was a platters, the miracles, uh, all these. Uh, the 50s and 60s and 70s stars, you know, they were there. Wow. Putting on this fundraiser. And so I was backstage. I was the only one they let come in, thank God for that. And that I learned so much. I sat up there, and every time they were miracles would perform, or the platters, or they would come back, they'd be on stage, and they would come back. And they would, I would interview them. So I got another six months of interviews in two days again. So, wow. and so the secret is, <laughs> it's, not what, <laughs> it's not what you know, it's who you know. And so I want to tell you the blessing that came out of that. Um, I had 24 hours of nothing but music. And I was the first on the internet to do 24 hours straight of nothing but music. And they gave me a proclamation 
uh, for that, and I have it right here in my office. So God is good. If you have a plan, oh, you are a real trailblazer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, get some water. Yeah, that you are a real trailblazer. First one to do twenty-four hours straight music on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I've got a proclamation here that gave me. In fact, I got it right here from the city of Houston, and it's Netscaping, but on the. Uh, on the internet, there are 24-hour music, music, and from all the stars, it was 24-hour with all the stars. And so, I thank God for that, Rhonda. I thank Him from where He's brought me from to where I am today. And anybody out there that's really trying, Rhonda, or wanting to be a talk show host, uh, it's, it is. Or if they're wanting to, I know all the technology and everything's going to TV, just like, I mean, internet, just like we are right now. Oh, yeah. That's what I tell people all, all the time. I mean, all you have to do is do exactly what we're doing right now, and you can start your own talk show. I mean, there's no excuses now. Oh, that's right. And, and uh, the first thing uh, that I learned, you know, to be a talk show host, that you got to be real, uh, well informed. And... What I would do each time that a guest would be on my show, I made sure I was prepared, and I would get their bio and everything about them. And when you do that, and you have your notes and everything, and you're interviewing them, and they feel comfortable with you, that they know you've done your research, and then you interact with each other, and it makes it interested in the, the secret to having a great talk show and I've won major awards in the world's who's who in uh, different awards for uh, my show and it's because if you're well informed and when you're interviewing them and people like your show they're going to tune in each week and I had this Cajun song too that would come on each week. The Yellow Rose, I got to get it for you, Rhonda. You'll love it. And so every week they knew the same time I was coming on the air, and they would write comments. And and I never had to worry about a guest on the show because I would have a waiting list. And I thank God for that. And also I would pick topics. Uh, a different topic each week, Rhonda, a topic that people would be excited about, uh, something, you know, that I knew would interest, would be of interest to everyone, and uh, that is the key in that. And what you got to do also uh, is you've got to have contact with your audience in an emotional level, you know, so that, that they know your heart and they know that you're genuine, you know, in everything that you do. And um, and you got to have fun with your guests because they're just like you and I, Rhonda, every person, no matter if they're millionaires or whatever, they're just like you and I. I mean, they dress the same way we do, They, you know. And so I would have fun with my guests. I would have fun with them. And, and... I would invite them back, and they say, "When can I come back again?" You know, so I just you make fun out of, out of it, and then <clears throat> from there, Rhonda, uh, I had a lot of people on my show that were very health conscious, and so I a great thing happened that's that I am doing right now, and I, I cannot thank the good Lord enough for this. Uh, I had an accident, and I had known Dr. Ed Group for over 20 years, and Dr. Ed Group helped me get well from the accident. A uh, lady hit me head on, and so he helped me uh, from, from that accident. And we just kept in contact with each other. And one day I, I had this dream. And so I told Dr. Group, I said, Dr. Group, I said, 
you really have a message in everything you do. I'd interviewed him on my show. In fact, you can go to my website, r-wenterprisesinc.com. Yes, Dr. Um, everyone who is watching, it's on the right-hand side. You just click on that link and you can, you know, go to Wanda's website and see all these things. Okay. Sorry, Wanda. Go ahead. And so, uh, so I said, Dr. Group, I said I had this dream and I said, and I explained to him, you know, about the dream and I said, I said, God wants to take you, Dr. Group, in a bigger way worldwide because you have so much knowledge. You have so much to help people. And so he said, okay, Wanda. So we put together the show drdetox.tv. So that is what I'm working on right now, Rhonda, is helping people get well. And I think you know one person, which if you go to Dr. Detox TV, you will see uh, testimonies of how so many people have gotten well. And the secret is in health, and I know, Rhonda, you're really into health. Uh, I believe you have a show, too, on health, or you do. Uh, I'm helping some people produce their own shows, basically gluten free stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it helps so, the word out there. You know, that's what every point right now is so important is our health. There's so many people dying of cancer and heart attacks, Rhonda, and so many people are dying uh, too young. I know recently, uh, I have worked with almost every movie that's come to Houston and uh, back to the movies. And uh, I remember a girlfriend of mine, uh, she was producing a television show and she had kissed her husband goodbye that morning. And she gets a phone call an hour later that he had died of a heart attack. Oh. And I said to Dr. Group, uh, Dr. Group, I really feel that it is so important for you to do your show. And so <clears throat> many people right now, uh, I know every day, Rhonda, what I do is I get up in the morning and I, I do a juice, I juice greens and, and because feeding our body with the proper nutrition, we can live a long life because we're so used to running through, you know, the drive throughs where you just pick up something that's not good for you or get so right. busy. And, and so uh, Dr. Group has uh, the real answer of cleansing our body with the colon cleanse and detoxing. And that is so important there because it cleanses our body and it keeps us healthy and I thank God for for my health and uh, you can go to you know drdetox.tv and any problem that you have you can click there and you can find you know an answer to your problem I know every day I had 400 emails today you people write in from all over on Facebook and and the different uh, and write into me and they'll say thank you for what you put out there Dr. Group for what you put out there Wanda because it really helped me I did what uh, Dr. Group's clip said and I'm feeling so much better or my health is so much better so so is that what you think Wanda is that you know part of the best thing about having an online talk show and it is to reach people and help them is 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 that what you see is like a mission in a way? yes that's our way for the future right now is the internet just look how many like look how many million people we're reaching right now Rhonda and look what you did by putting this together with your talent I mean this is amazing because <clears throat> When you can reach so many people where it before it was so hard to reach people and now uh, 
right on, right, it's like we're face to face here. You're in, in, <laughs> I know. It's so great here. to see you. Austin, Austin, Texas, and I am here in Houston. So it's amazing of, of what happens. And I just cannot thank God for uh, where he's brought me from to where I am today. And the movies that I'm producing is going to be movies that's going to help people, movies that are uplifting, movies that uh, will help people to, uh, they will be able to, like we're doing right here, just get on a trailblazer and have one, a health show or what, whoever you have. I know you've got a great list I can see uh, coming up on your uh, shows and yeah, so great just how, how just what you're doing, Rhonda, is going to touch so many lives. Well, I hope so. That's what I was thinking because there's just so many talented people out there who are just not, you know, well known. Everyone's looking at the superstars and there are superstars walking among us. So that's that's why no I No matter, like I say, Rhonda, no matter what why, where you come from, no matter what background, God gives us the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So if any of you are out there and you want to be a, a talk show host, or if you want to be a part of the community, or if you are wanting to, uh, if you're wanting, whatever your desire is, <laughs> He is, don't let anyone discourage you. No matter what you're going through, no matter how many challenges you have, no matter how many ups and downs, no matter how many people say it can't be done, <laughs> it can be done. Because <laughs> you keep the faith and never give up. That's the key, and never give up. And a lot of people have not made it, Rhonda, because they give up. They may be right at the threshold, but they give up. You know, because they have so many challenges. Now, you and I could have given up tonight because, <laughs> but we were determined that we were we not about it twice. <laughs> going to happen, and I want to honor you, Rhonda. You are such a sweetheart, and you are, you are blessing so many people's lives right now with your talent. And I just cannot thank you enough. Well, thank you, Wanda, and thank you for not giving up. I mean, you stuck in there. You were a trooper till we got this done. And uh, I do have one little question that I think maybe some people wa might want to know. Um, you know, in over 30 years of talking to all these celebrities, who were some of your favorites? I, I have, you know, it's hard to pick one favorite. Well, but just a few. Each person Rhonda, had a message. Each person had a message. And I, I've had, you know, um, I've had doctors on there. I've had uh, people from all walks of life. But the me and I still, if you go to my website right now, or dashwenterpriseinc.com, you can click on some of the shows I've had in the past. Just click under Yellow Rose, and it'll say Live Shows. I like uh, some of the people that have gone through tremendous, uh, like John Bradshaw, uh, that's helping so many people today. Um, uh, I had, and God love him, he's in heaven right now, Dr. Jesse Partridge. He was a trooper. I followed him and interviewed him all over the United States because he, he, he was the one that found the magnet, and he's the one that believed in MSM. And I would go all over, and I would do my talk shows while I was invited all over, and he left a legend of taking care of your health. The most important thing is taking care of your health. And he got me on MSM. And, and that has stayed with me today uh, because 
no matter, even until he was in his 80s before he died, he left a legend. And I enjoyed him on my show because he was so informative and he knew every, it was nothing you couldn't talk to him about of any uh, disease or anything. He'd tell you how to heal it. And everything he did, he did natural. So I think that today is why that I'm now into health and, and wanting to help people get well and educate them how to get well. He made a real, he just really uh, left an impact with me, the importance of that. Because we get so busy in life, uh, Rhonda, that, you know, and the most important thing is that I have found is that we need to take more time with our family and our loved ones. And, and uh, that is so important to do because we get so busy and as your phone goes off, <laughs> life passes you by, you know. And so I made a new motto every day when I have at least five or ten minutes. I do my best to, uh, I do my best to make a phone call and tell a friend that I love them, and um. that it's so important. And each day I have a friend that will call me every morning right at 8.30 and we pray every day. And you know when you start your day off in prayer, you have a beautiful day. No matter what challenges you go through or whatever, you have a beautiful day. And so I'm just so grateful for you again, Rhonda. And for giving me this opportunity to be on your show and oh, I just want to tell everyone out there that no matter what you're trying to do no matter what project you're going in no matter um, how many challenges you have just keep the faith and keep on and if you have a challenge just tie, I tell her by tie knot and hang on. God has a blessing for you. <laughs> oh, those are really inspirational and wise words, Wanda. And um, I think you're a testament to all of that. And thank you so much for sticking in there and being with us today. Um, if you can hold on for a second, let me see if there's any any questions. Okay. But keep talking. Tell us what it was like uh, interviewing Larry King while I look for questions. Well, you know, Larry is um, Larry is really down to earth. He is. Uh, I met him several times, and he is. Uh, and he spoke once here in Houston at a summit, and I learned a lot from Larry because he was so down to earth and. And he, what I learned from him was, it's just like I'm talking to you, you know. And he, well, he reminded me one time when I, when I talked to him. I was in New York, and I'll share this. Uh, I was in New York on the Johnny Carson show. And you were so on the Johnny Carson show? Yeah, I want to take yeah, it back. You can't just, you can't just name drop. You can't just this name stuff like that and then yeah. just like, uh, cross over Johnny, uh, Johnny Carson, he won me on the show because they had the module there, you know, about the spaceship going up, and I'm from Houston. So Johnny had the Long Ranger, and he had a guy on a donkey, and what he was going to do is go around the world on that donkey, and he was going to break the genius, genius record. Anyway, and so... Uh, Johnny says, Wanda, and I'll never forget this. <laughs> he said, "Tell me, Wanda, had you, I had, which way would you rather go, Wanda?" He had me talking about the spaceship and the excitement in Houston and everything about the spaceship. We discussed that, and then he said, "You want to be like these nuts here, going around the world on a Long Ranger, or on this." Nut over here wants to go on this donkey or up in the spaceship. I said, I'll take the spaceship. 
you're taking the spaceship <laughs> over the donkey. I'll take the spaceship. Take the spaceship. <laughs> wow. But you I had a lot, and I thank God for my library of uh, people, Rhonda, that I've had on my show. One day I want to put them all up on the internet mm -hmm. so people can. There's so many that I have that have been educational, have been authors and and from all walks of life. I'm looking over here at my book shelf, book uh, chef here. I probably have four or five hundred authors up there on my bookshelf. <laughs> wow! I was going to ask yeah, you how yeah. many there were. How many you thought there were? Yes, I I just uh, so you think I it's about I'll four come in my office and I'll <clears throat> I'll pull a book out one of the authors and I'll start <clears throat> excuse me reading it again from where he's brought me from to where I am today and what I'm doing right now is uh, I am a part of a fundraiser that's coming up on uh, October. We gave we, we last year they gave over a hundred thousand bicycles to uh, underprivileged children, and so we're ha I'm working on right now uh, on that uh, for October the twelfth. So this year we can give over another hundred thousand bicycles, and what it does is these bicycles they take them to the to the schools, and these little kids they see the bicycle. And it has improved their grades over seventy percent, Rhonda. Just from getting a bicycle? Yeah, these kids, it gives them an incentive, you know, wow. the bicycle does. And so what they do, <clears throat> uh, and there's so many testimonies of this, and uh, so that's what I'm working on right now for October the twelfth, and want to invite anyone out there that's in Houston. It's going to be at the Height Regency and uh, it's uh, it's a very worthwhile call. So that I do a lot of community work, uh, Rhonda, and I can remember before we close, never think you're too busy to want to help other people. I remember I chaired the Diabetes Foundation and I'm going, dear God, I don't know how I'm going to have time to do this. I really don't know how I'm going to have time. I'm, I'm so busy with my schedule and everything I'm doing. And so I had my team together in Rhonda. <clears throat> I left that meeting and I didn't know because every week two or three meetings and trying to run a business and do TV commercials that I do and everything. But I got in my car and I drove down the street and on the street corner was this young man. On on the street corner was this young man and he had in his hand to show you how God keeps you in the right direction. He was uh, had in his hand a little bag and it was like insulin. And he says, and I was just stopped at the stop sign and he said Nobody will help me. He said, I'm out of insulin. He said, I'm going to kill myself. And I'm going, oh, my Lord. I rolled down my window and I said, go to Lakewood Church. They'll help you. And so that taught me a valuable lesson. And God had that there to let me know. It's, you're never too busy to help other people. You have to take time. So the only thing that counts is what we do to help help others. Oh wow, that is like a perfect place to close this because that goes right along with your whole life's work being, you know, this incredible talk show host and and all all the people. I bet you don't even know how many people you've helped. I have up here in my bookshelf to remind me because they all <laughs> gave me their books and I go back, you know, if I get discouraged sometime, I'll go pick up one on positive thinking and I've had, like I say, so many wonderful people through the years and it's been such a blessing to go back and to, and I have t uh, the tapes from my shows to go back and listen to them. Sometimes when I get discouraged about anything, I'll go back and I will listen 
and I never grumble after I listen to other, you know, when you, saw, every, you think you've been going through a lot yourself until you hear someone else's story. So the whole motive I, in my life, the rest of my life, Rhonda, is I want to be a service and only do what God wants me to do in my life and be a blessing to other people because <clears throat> When you're a blessing to others, the greatest gift you can have is is friends and and true friends, you know, that are stand there by you like you have, Rhonda. And uh, I again want to thank you and congratulate you on your success with your. And I know God's going to open up many more doors for you. Oh, you're such a beautiful God. person inside and out. And thank you again. Oh no, you're welcome. I'm I'm hoping that this helps a lot of people so I'm hoping it helps a lot of people and you're only uh, interview number two and already we ran in trouble but I'm going on you know <laughs> never <laughs> give up Rhonda <laughs> it's the latest technology you know and, and uh, just like I just got my iPhone 5 and now <laughs> Apple's come out <laughs> come out with iPhone C Oh my! <laughs> Have fun. Well, thank you again so much. So I hope somebody out there that hears this, well, that is wanting to do something in their life that it can happen. They just have to believe and trust God. Yes. Well, even though we're a little late, this will be up for a forty-eight hour replay, and I will put it everywhere I can think of, so people can catch it and be inspired. And uh, and uh, thank you so much, sweetheart, for being. Well, thank you, Rhonda. You're an angel, and I just I just wish you God's continued success as you're helping others and and. You have uh, you have such a beautiful spirit about you. And well, I can't wait to see more of the Yellow Rose and Doctor Detox and your new movies that are coming out. And I'm just looking forward to you know all the great stuff you're putting out there. Thank you again, Rhonda. And yes, you have a cool. yes. Thank you, and thank you for everybody who's here watching or who will be watching in the future. Um, uh, Miss Wanda Caraway, wonderful, wonderful lady, and a great, great, great inspirational message that she's out there to give you is that you know no matter what it is, just just do it, and somebody will come along and help. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just paraphrasing. Thank you again, Rhonda, and God bless you on as your journey. I know it's going to keep getting better and better every day for you. Yeah, and I'm going to send you a badge for what you went through to get on tonight. <laughs> you need some kind of a medal. <laughs> well, thank you, but we never give up. That's I know. Thing. We completed it. You did it. You did it. Thank you so much, thank sweetheart. Thank you, and you have a great week. Yes, you too. Good night.